Hey Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D rendering of an Elizabethan half timbered building, the kind of place where William Shakespeare might have lived. If you want to draw William Shakespeare, then click up here and uh, see that video. Now, this is quite complicated, but with a little bit of planning, it makes it a bit easier. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. <laughs> Now you are going to need a pen and a pencil and an eraser and I'm going to use a ruler for a little bit um, and I'm going to start off by marking out 80 millimeters because I've started this drawing before a couple of times and made it too big so that it didn't fit in the camera or on the page and I'm going to start at a kind of an angle like that just slightly if there's the middle of the page I'll come over there a little bit like that and I'm going to draw an angle like that so I've got 80 millimeters and then oh, if I go to 200 then I'm going to draw 40 going back like that okay so I'll get rid of those extra bits and this is the base of the house so need to draw these tiny little verticals so they're going to become the base plate and if you want the kind of the full floor plan of the house it's going to look something like that and we want to draw a little porch on the front so follow this line through and this line through like that and then parallel to the base and that will give us this nice little square kind of porch on the front and that too will have a base plate. Now half timber buildings are made out of timber and basically they have these posts coming up and we're gonna have a post in the corner there. In fact, we'll have two posts because there'll be one either side that we will see. And here we will have a post and we'll see two sides of that. Here we'll have a post and we'll see one side of that and we're going to have that corner of the building obscured completely by the porch so we don't have to draw that bit which is good. So let's come to the first floor. This is going to be the wall plate of the, of the ground floor so that will join up there. This then wants to come forward at an angle and then that will go across there like that. Are you with me so far? <laughs> we could have a little brick base added on at the bottom as well if you want. And you know maybe the road is going down at an angle. So you can do all sorts of interesting things there if you want. Now this, the, the second floor hangs over the first floor. So what we need to do is to hang that over a bit. Okay, and then we're going to go back to there. We're going to go forwards. We we'll go across there and then that will kind of go back over there like that so that the second floor posts will go up like this uh, on that corner yes and on that corner and then we will draw going back at that angle and across and back like that so that is actually hanging over and then these posts will be like that We'll want posts in the corner like that and there and there as well. So, <laughs> like I said, it's not too easy, is it? So let's just cut that corner off slightly, find the middle there and take that up so that we can then draw the gable end here. And then we're gonna to want to draw an extra line like that so we get the gable barge boards these will then be sort of cut off like that and then we'll get the roof tiles just extra on the top on the outside so that the roof is actually overhanging here as well and we're going to have the same thing going on here so we'll cut off the corner and that will come up and then find the middle take that up cutting that corner off like that barge boards going out up like that there and then this is going to come in and meet the bottom of the roof there so then we can draw the ridge of the roof up there that's going to be coming up in behind 
so that's going to be about there so that we can cut the roof off about there so that this ridge will come across there and it will meet like that we kind of got the basics of it haven't we we're also going to want to have a chimney in here actually we could have the chimney right in the middle so that'll be parallel to the angle of the roof coming down there I'm going to have the chimney and that will come up from the other side there parallel to the roof there and we're going to get an extra little bit sort of sticking out like that because they you know, added a bit of extra and then that will be kind of extra too this isn't easy is it um, should we put some smoke in I don't know so we'll come to that later and that is basically the plan <laughs> now let's let's start inking in and seeing what we can do I always like to start at the thing that's at the front because that's kind of the nearest thing to you and if you draw the things behind you can't draw things on top can you so if you draw the things at the front then you can put things behind so I'm going to start with a little curve like that and go across and I'm going to that's the ridge tiles on the porch part there and then I think I will actually do this um, chimney here as well and now one of the nice things about doing old ancient Tudor buildings and things like that is, is that they are a bit wonky aren't they and so it really doesn't matter if you make us look a bit wonky in fact it might even make it look a bit better so I'm going to just do slightly wiggly lines there and a line down there and then we can go across here and then we can do a little curve there and we can do the ridge tiles in across like that. Now I know this is, um, there's an awful lot going on here so don't forget you can always stop and start and replay anytime you like you're not going to wear out the video you're not going to wear out youtube or any other channel you're watching this on sometimes you just need to sort of stop and get your breath and then sort of come back and you know say what what was that and you can always if you miss a bit and think what was he doing there rewind and check it out now i'm not drawing every single brick here as well sometimes when you try and draw every brick it makes it look so messy so just kind of draw hints of brick <laughs> like that. And then we're going to draw the tiles coming down. So draw a kind of a, a wiggly, 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 wiggly line. And then another one very close to it for the kind of the thickness of the tiles. And I'm going to do the same here. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. It's not quite so wiggly, is it? Because my hand's facing the other direction. Um, and then we can draw that barge board. And in fact, I'm just going to draw in a little bit from there and then underneath and then across. And we're going to just see a little bit of a thickness of the barge board across there too. And here again, wiggly, 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 wiggly. And here we can go wiggly, 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 and wiggly, wiggly back. I know some people giggle when I say wiggly, 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 but it's the best kind of word <laughs> for it. And we'll come across there and uh, to make this barge board and down and across. And we're also going to see a little bit of thickness of that barge board. You can put a bit of shadow in there while you're at it. And then you can do a kind of slightly wiggly line and a wiggly line down there. We've done the roof. We'll come to the tiles later. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the base plate of the second floor. So let's draw that. So I'm going to draw a plate across there, a plate across there, across there, and then all the way across to the bottom like that. And then we can put in the posts. So these are the, the main structural load bearing posts in the corners. And that will go up, and it doesn't matter if it gets a bit wonky. Um, and that will go up and we want another one going down another one and that will go up and we'll see that side of it and 
then I think we can maybe do the ground floor bits as well. So let's do this base plate all the way around. And then we'll come to there. And back. And now we're going to get kind of extra little sort of bits um, holding this in. So come down a little bit and then curve down like that. And that will give you that kind of extra um, sort of curve thing going on with the bits that are sort of coming out to hold up the second floor. Um, and so this will be doing something like that. And we can maybe have that sort of coming out like that as well. That's not quite right, but <laughs> let's do that and that and up and around. And then we can have come down around, like that. So those are the main supports and you can kind of see what's happening now. If you come in about that far and down and about there and there. Now these are going to be supporting posts as well because these are going to be holding up the door frame and we can draw kind of little line across and maybe some kind of pattern there and here we will draw a sort of a curve going across there and maybe a door frame and we can maybe put a little thing like that and hinges coming in there as well. Let's draw this huh, base plate thing. This would be a little kind of brick built uh, base. And again, don't draw hundreds of bricks, just draw a suggestion of bricks. So let's do one and two and three like that. And one and two and a two, that can come in that direction. And the bricks of course have to sort of keep going in the <laughs> the direction of uh, of flow so these are coming that way those are going that way it's perspective that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> and maybe some in there as well I think this is a good place to erase the pencil line so make sure it is absolutely dry before you do and uh, and then we can get that sort of nice and clean get it in the middle of the camera and now we can do some building. So let's go across the, uh, so let's work across here. Let's put a, a kind of a nogging along that way. And then we can put one and two, one and two in there. And this top um, section here, we can have as windows. So we'll go and put this little lattice window kind of thing going on in there. Across here, we're gonna have a great big timber and this might even have a bit of um, carving going on like that in there and above it there might even be a little window so we could put um, a little thing like that two lines across two coming down like that and then we can maybe put um, a lattice window in there and maybe one across the top and we want some little um, Posts are very structural, studs kind of fill in. So here we're going to now do two posts. So these will be quite structural because these are going to be holding up the window. And we'll put the window frame, the window sill across there. And then oh, we need to think about this. Let's draw two lines like that, two lines like that. And then these are going to kind of join at the top with these um, little uh, curves at the top. And then those are going to be windows. So then we can put in this kind of lattice thing on there. And, and you kind of need these kind of lead lattice windows in an old timber frame building like this because it moves around so much um, that... <laughs> that if you just had a big pane of glass the building turning around would probably smash the glass I should think so let's put some a couple of studs in here one two three so we put three studs in there um, and underneath here let's put two posts 
there's a post there and a post there and again we're going to have a window going across and we'll do one and two like that you're not going to see these curvy bits because they're underneath the um, overhanging roof thank goodness so we don't have to draw them <laughs> sometimes you can plan a drawing so that you're um, finding the most advantageous view that you have to do the least amount of drawing but uh, but then sometimes if you find the one that has the most amount of drawing that's the drawing that looks the best so you can't win can you uh, and then we'll have another stud there and another stud there uh, and then we're going to want something similar on the ground floor. So we'll have post, post, and we'll have the window sill. And we're not going to see the tops here either. So what I'm going to have one, two, three, we'll have four across there, something like that. And we put in these lattice windows. Whew. If you got this far, you obviously love drawing. So click somewhere down here and you will find the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel. Keep coming back for lots more drawings. Okay, then let's put uh, a, a, a stud in there and a stud in there and we're gonna want little studs in there as well, aren't we? Which probably should kind of match the things that are going above it. Um, and then here, I think we just have um, studs. So let's put two posts in, so there won't be any windows on the ground floor here. But let's make this a little bit more interesting by going up in a curve, up in a curve, up in a curve, up in a curve. And then we can put these studs coming down like that. Another stud there. Stud, 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 stud. We're going to want a great big beam going across there and that could be um, sort of patterned as well and then we're going to do a window so we're going to need two posts which are structural we're going to have the window frames and I'm making them very wonky um, oh and let's have those yeah let's have these things up at the top like that and then we'll have the lattice window frames and then well we could do another curve thing up there just to make it look a bit prettier couldn't we and that just makes it more interesting and we have the studs coming down either side stud 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 and again we could do something like that and have a big curve going up there it just makes it all of that more interesting and we have those studs going up like that. Let's have the sort of background going across there. Ah, oh, now we come to the roof. So what I'm going to do is a kind of a a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle kind of line like that. I think if you try to draw every tile, it's going to look really, really weird. And and in fact, you can maybe kind of break it up a bit. And not kind of draw it all the way but if you do that kind of jerk jerk it's a jerky kind of line really um, uh, and, and just sort of keep going and they ha it needs to be parallel to that roof ridge and just keep going all the way down I think I'll just zip through the rest of this <laughs> and we'll, we'll need the gutter at the bottom as well won't we and the same was gonna go in this direction now I'm going to shade this in very simple um, sort of grey tint. Oh, that's probably a bit too dark. And I'm going to sort of shade each of the walls that are facing this away. Um, so we can draw that down there and the brick bit at the bottom. And then that'll be this whole section here as well, won't it? And we can just just shade that whole thing which kind of makes it a bit more obvious what's going on and we can shade it in the roof as well and the chimney but then I'm going to make slightly darker shading underneath there and we're going to have shading going on underneath the window too we're going to have shading going on underneath 
that level as well and underneath that level there we're going to have shading underneath there I'm going to have shading going on underneath the gable as well I'm going to add an extra little bit of shading underneath there and then I'm going to shade in these windows to make them more obvious and then the tradition is that all the woodwork is painted as well so it could be you know sometimes you see very very harsh black and white houses um, but the prettier ones are kind of done with a sort of a lime wash um, grey so you can just kind of paint all the woodwork all the stripes uh, just to sort of bring them out and then it kind of makes it a little more obvious what's actually going on <laughs> so paint those little studs there you can you can do this with crayons you can do it with colored pencils you can do it with with a graphite pencil you know so that each shade depends on how hard you press with a graphite pencil um, we're going to want to do the brickwork in a bit darker as well and the door and and just sort of take your time to shade them all in or you could color them in so you could make it a kind of a dark gray the wood tends to be a dark gray because it's um oak which um is kind of usually left to go naturally which goes that sort of silvery gray of oak and the the colors can be you can have sort of pinks and oranges and yellows and things like that um, for, for the for the bit that fills in which is made out of plaster and gets painted and stuff like that so let's draw a little bit around there and then finally I think probably this needs to be a bit darker and maybe there's a bit of a shadow going on there and maybe, maybe oh that's too dark isn't it <laughs> um, and we want to sort of shade that side of the chimney as well and shade underneath there uh, we can maybe, maybe make those windows a little bit darker and you're probably going to have some sort of shadow on the ground as well and I forgot these little studs that need to go in there <laughs> and there you go how to draw half timbered Elizabethan Tudor medieval house. Thanks for watching and keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for lots more drawings every week and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now bye bye.